and we will begin laying down. So if you're listening to any music, hit play on your playlist. Come to a posture on your back. I would suggest either a supported bridge or legs up the wall and use your block to help you feel grounded in that posture. So supported bridge, slide your block underneath your sacrum at any height really for uh, legs up the wall, same thing. You could totally do it without the block. Otherwise at the lowest height of your block, slide it under your low back and let your legs just press up towards the sky. And then everything that's touching the ground, let it really root you to your mat and start from a, a really space of, uh, of going inward. So close your eyes, maybe dial in deeper to breath. We're going to spend a couple of minutes here just letting ourselves begin to feel integrated in your space. So as you're breathing, we are uh, giving focus in our practice lately to this concept of uh, samadhi. And samadhi essentially translates literally as to make complete. And we are thinking of samadhi as the eighth limb in the eight limb yogic path. And it is a space often described as enlightenment, also as bliss, uh, often as freedom. And it is all of those things. It is a space where our consciousness of self meets the consciousness of the divine. And it is essentially the ultimate goal of a yogic journey. It is something we spend a lifetime working on in a myriad of ways. But we use our physical yoga practice, our asanas, the poses, the postures to help reveal to us different states of being in our own body. It's an amazing journey. I know for each of us in this space, it's one that we have all been on for a long time. So I invite you to use today as an opportunity to honor deeper connection and higher connection that you experience from yoga and really lean into that space of enlightenment and realize the roots that you create are what allow you to rise up into these more wonderfully higher, more blissful, freer spaces of being. Rooting down to rise up. That is the phrase you will hear me say many, many times in our class today. And it is the uh, phrase that we are honoring in the different postures that we do. Let's breathe together. Exhale the air from your lungs. Take a deep breath in, fill up. Open up, exhale, let it go. Again, like that, big breath in, fill up. And a full breath out, release it out. One more time, inhale, feel the energy build as you breathe. Full breath out, let it go. From here, seal your lips, begin your ujjayi pranayama, the nostril breath, the powerful method of breathing that will energetically drive you deeper into more powerful spaces of that energy that we call prana, that is very much an aspect of this movement towards a higher state of being. And as you are ready, remove your block from underneath your spine, hug your knees into your chest. We start with a supine twist. Hug your right leg in, extend your left leg long. Guide your right knee across your body. Reach your right arm open next to you. And supine twist at the beginning can be very uh, different or feel different than supine twist at the end. And it's really meant today to be a little checkpoint for you. We'll do the same posture at the very end of our class. So it does not need to be the deepest twist, just a good way to start to feel how twists are feeling in your body this morning, starting to do some gentle stressing, some gentle motion. And then gently come back through center, give your knee one more squeeze and take it to the other side, right leg long, left knee in. Use your right hand to guide your left knee across, to reach your left arm open. And again, not the deepest, grandest twist we've ever done in our yoga practice, but it is the first twist to this side of the day. Purposeful movement in your body with every posture, notice what is touching the mat because that is your root that allows you to move into these shapes. Slowly come back to center, gather your knees into your chest, get a couple of rock and rolls side to side. 
and grab behind your knees, start to rock and roll front to back, a length of your spine, gaining a little more motion momentum each time, eventually coming through to tabletop pose, cross your ankles, plant your palms, step your knees back underneath your hips, We'll do a little cat and cow together. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine, tuck your chin onto your chest. Again, inhale, cow pose, broaden your collarbones, arch through your back. Exhale, cat pose, opposite motion, round your spine, gaze between your thighs. One more time, inhale, breath, move for the whole breath. Exhale, round for the whole breath. Inhale, back to tabletop pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes under, lift your hips. And this first downward facing dog, really move in ways that feel like you're warming up your joints, feeling connection to the spaces in your body that allow you to uh, start to make these more vigorous shapes that we make. And then come to stillness here when you're ready for stillness. Root down to rise up. So think of what's rooting you on the mat. Push into your palms, press into the balls of your feet. Then rise up, push your tailbone up towards the sky. Maybe a gentle bend in your knees helps you to lift your tailbone even higher. Feel your core ignite, navel to spine. One big breath in, lift your hips a little more. Breathe out, soften your heels to your mat. Inhale, look to your palms. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Step your feet forward behind your wrists. Hip width distance, a little wider, a little narrower perhaps. First forward fold so you can grab for opposite elbow or forearm, a gentler way to really feel that length and space in your spine. If you've got variations from that uh, basic ragdoll posture, you're welcome to it. And remember, you can bend your knees here as much as you'd like. If you've got a grip, switch your grip, go to the opposite side, maybe find a little motion right to left, forwards and backwards, whatever feels good. And we're gonna add a little twist. So tense your left fingers uh, between your feet and then inhale, reach your right arm high. As you exhale, you can put a little more bend in your left knee, twist your chest open, maybe a little motion in your right palm, bend and straighten your elbow, deeper motion in your shoulder perhaps. And inhale, reach your right arm up, come back to that little twist. Exhale, punch your right fingertips between your feet. Inhale, reach your left arm high. As you exhale, maybe you bend your right knee a little bit more, add in those motions in your left arm. Elbow, shoulder, wrist, all can get a little movement here. And then inhale, reach down and reach up. Exhale, fingertips down to the mat. Toe heel your feet together and put a deeper bend in your knees and just very slowly, gently come to a standing position. Gently lift your leg, lengthen your legs, lengthen your spine, reach through the crown of your head. Maybe a couple of big shoulder rolls, any other movements that would feel good. And then we meet in Samastitihi, standing at a tension pose. Bring your thumbs to your chest. Lift your chest up towards your thumbs. Feel like the nice long length in your spine. Opening through your torso, reach through the crown of your head. Blink your eyes closed. So we root down to rise up. It's present in your physical being right now. Feel the earth underneath your feet. Support you as you lengthen and reach all the way above the crown of your head present in all pieces of your body, both physical and beyond your physical form, you have the opportunity to create meaningful intention towards enlightenment. Reflect on your yoga journey, honor your practice, and invite in a way to continue to journey even further. We'll send out our intention with breath. Exhale the air from your lungs. Big breath in, fill up. Open up, exhale, release it out. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Blink your eyes open, palms to your sides. One simple sun A together. Inhale, mountain pose, lift and reach through your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold, lead with your chest as you lower down. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. 
Exhale, high to low plank, plant your palms, step back, bend your elbows to your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog, push into your palms to lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl your toes under, lift your hips. Everybody breathe in. And everybody breathe out. Two more times through Sun A on your own. Let this journey through Sun A on your own be an opportunity to author your own path. That doesn't mean that it has to be filled with frills and add-ons and all sorts of things. It just means you have two rounds of this movement connected to your breath to really feel that inner connection to yourself. It can be exactly what we just did. It can be little additions. You can go completely rogue and do something really unusual compared to typical movement. All are choices that can honor yourself and your journey. Remember, breath stays at the center of what we do. Breath is one of the big pieces that has been present in this entire eight-limbed path, in addition to the poses themselves and the energy and balance that they create. Remember, rooting down to rise up. Every posture, something's touching the mat to support your movement. Feel the length, the space, the opportunity to feel big, to feel open, to feel powerful in your choices, and let that extend beyond your physical self. When you get to the end of that second sun A on your own, you are welcome to ground yourself in child's pose for a couple of breaths. We never stopped there at the beginning of class. And it can be a great way, again, to honor the breath connection, honor the prana, the flow of energy through your body, and to feel how that is building. It's gaining heat, gaining power, gaining balance as we move. Beautiful, my friends. Everybody breathe in. Breathe out. Come to down dog if you're not there. One more inhale. Stay for a deep exhale. We'll do our sun B. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, feel that length. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, lengthen your spine, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Pause and breathe. Sink as low as you can into your chair. So drop your hips a little lower. Bring your weight to the backs of your feet and then lift your chest up. Feel your abdominals ignite. Breathe in. Exhale, twist to the right. Open twist. Left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. Keep your hips square to the front, knees and thighs together as you twist your upper torso open. Little different movement here. Inhale, airplane pose on the right. Bring your left fingertips back, your left leg up and back. Square your hips to the mat and breathe. Broaden your chest forward. Lengthen through your standing leg and feel your palms lift higher than your hips. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Tense your fingers. Plant your left foot at the back of the mat. Inhale, easy twist. Keep your left palm planted. Reach your right arm high. Pause and breathe. Once again, you're rooting down to rise up. This is a posture where maybe the block underneath your left palm will help you feel a little bit more length and space in your spine as you twist your right fingertips up closer to the sky. Take a breath in. Exhale, crescent lunge with your open arm twist. Keep your arms open wide. Come to stand, lift your shoulders above your hips and square your hips to the front. Inhale, exalted crescent lunge. Keep lifting your left fingertips. Drop your right palm down and breathe. Maintain your lunging legs. Feel your chest come back more to the front and lift up towards the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Pivot your left foot down to the mat. Open your chest to the opposite side. Pause here, my friends. Roll your shoulders down. Open your torso. Feel length and space in your rib cage. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm up. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep the length in your side bodies. Reach your right arm forward and down. Lift your left arm high. Push your chest forward, rotate your torso open, make sure to maintain your lunging legs. And inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through your right leg as you reach your right arm up. Exhale, high to low plank, you go your version. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, feet to touch at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair pose, press your weight into your heels. Exhale, open twist to the left, right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. Pause and feel this first twist on this side. Hips stay square to the front. The twist emerges from where your navel meets your spine. Keep your shoulders wrapped just above your upper ribs. Inhale, airplane pose on the left. Reach your right arm and your right big toe back. Pause and breathe. Level your hips to the mat. Strengthen through your standing leg. Find a little up dog in your chest. Kick your right foot a little higher. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Tense your fingers and your right foot down. Inhale, easy twist. Plant your right palm. Reach your left arm high. Breathe here, my friends. Root down to rise up. Push your right palm to the mat or your block. Use that connection to twist your torso open and lengthen your left fingertips to the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale, crescent lunge with an open arm twist. <laughs> Come to stand. Feel your left fingertips reach behind you. Your right fingertips reach forward. Maintain your lunging legs. And inhale, exalted crescent lunge. Drop your left palm down. Reach your right arm high. Feel your heart space open, your throat open as you extend your torso and your gaze up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Charge your right foot down at the back. Open your torso, reach long. Feel your powerful warrior leg. It's kind of a release, this posture, after those last couple that were a little bit more strenuous in your physical form. So if you're really grounded here, powerful in your stance, open in your chest. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left palm high. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, then drop your left arm down. Reach your right arm up. Press your collarbones forward to lengthen your spine. Then open your chest and lift your gaze. Really nice. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through your front leg. Exhale, high to low plank. You travel your way. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. And a full breath out. Continue to breathe here as we flow, my friends. Remember, connection to breath, connection to energy, rooting to the mat, and notice what rises up from there. Let's flow through it. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair, sit low, reach high. Exhale, twist to the right, reach your right palm behind you. Inhale, airplane pose, kick your left foot and left arm back. Exhale, low lunge, plant your fingertips in your left leg. Inhale, easy twist, reach your right arm high. Exhale, crescent lunge with your open arm twist, rise to stand. Inhale, exalted crescent lunge, keep lifting your left palm up. Exhale, warrior two, plant your back foot on the mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Feel that side body stretch. Exhale, extended side angle. Lengthen through both rib cages. Inhale, reverse triangle. Push into your right big toe as you reach up. Exhale, high to low plank. Travel towards your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, feet to touch at the top. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair, press your weight into your heels. Exhale, twist to the left, maybe your gaze goes back too. Inhale, airplane pose, right arm and right toe back. Exhale, low lunge, tense your fingers, plant your foot. Inhale, easy twist, reach to the sky. Exhale, crescent lunge, keep your open arm twist. Inhale, exalted crescent lunge, keep reaching, reaching up. Exhale, warrior two, find your open torso. 
Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through your front leg. Exhale, high to low plank. You could go right to down dog instead. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Full breath out. Take one more deep inhale. Mighty exhale. We're going to add on just a couple things. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step it to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, airplane pose. Kick your left toe and your left palm back. Listen. Exhale, Shiva squat, thumbs to heart center. Bring your left knee to your right calf. Couple options, your left big toe could totally come all the way down to the mat or your palms could come on top of your block. Couple with breath, inhale, airplane pose. You could keep your palms grounded. Exhale, Shiva squat, bring your knee to your calf. Do it again, inhale, get long. Exhale, squat down. One more time, inhale, airplane pose. Exhale, Shiva squat. Moving on this time, inhale, come back through airplane. Exhale, low lunge, plant your left toes down. Inhale, easy twist, right arm high. Exhale, come to stand, crescent lunge, open arm twist. Inhale, exalted crescent lunge, drop your right palm down, lift your left fingers up and breathe. Hold it, my friends. Keep your lunging legs. Remember, root down to rise up. Feel the earth underneath your feet, how that allows you to move into this powerful lunging posture, allows you to open your chest, extend your fingertips far beyond you, and your gaze even farther above you than that. Amazing focus. You look great, Meg. You're here for three. Come to warrior two in two. And one warrior two. That was amazing, y'all. Find your warrior two. And then we'll move on. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep your spine super long. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. And this time, exhale, triangle pose. Push your tailbone back, reach, reach, reach forward. Then drop your right arm down, your left arm high. The goal here is nice straight legs, nice straight spine, super lift of your left fingertip up to the sky. What is rooting you to the mat? What is the apex of the posture? Feel all the length and space in your side bodies, opening your torso, strengthening in your legs. Gorgeous, Kamna, you're here for three. Uh, back, to, oh, no, half moon this time in two. And one, I almost forgot half moon, y'all. We can't do that. Push forward onto your right foot. Plant your right palm, perhaps on your block beyond the front of your mat. Lift and open your chest. This time, not much is rooting you to the mat, but a whole lot of you is rising up. That's so powerful. Even in the challenge, recognize the attempt itself is where the power lies, the openness, the willingness to explore depth. You're here for three. Amazing job. Back to reverse triangle in two. And one back to reverse triangle. Plant your back foot. Reach your right arm high. Big breath in. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's pause, take a breath in and take another breath out. Let's do the last side. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair, sit just as low in your chair. Exhale, twist to the left, keep your hips square to the front. Inhale, airplane pose, right leg and right arm back. Exhale, Shiva squat, thumbs to heart center, knee to calf, get low. Remember, you can bring your right big toe down. You could bring your palms to your block. Three with breath, inhale, airplane pose. You could stay grounded in your hands. Exhale, Shiva squat, round it down. Do it again, inhale, airplane. 
Exhale, Shiva squat. Last one, powerful breath in, powerful breath out. Inhale, back through airplane. Exhale, low lunge, plant your right toes down. Inhale, easy twist, reach to the sky. Exhale, crescent lunge with your twist. Inhale, exalted crescent lunge, keep reaching your right arm up and then breathe one more time in your exalted posture. I love this pose because I think that it represents symbolically in your body, this eight limbed path completely. You start from somewhere very grounded, very rooted underneath you. And from that powerful foundation, you are able to open and rise into an amazingly powerful, beautiful, open being. Gorgeous focus in that. We've got this, you're here for three. Warrior two is your release in two. And one, warrior two, you're amazing. Chest to the side, arms nice and long. Let's finish it out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Remember, push your hips back to help keep your spine super long. Extend your chest forward, left arm down, right arm up. Your uh, spine makes one nice long line. So it's not about getting your chest down to the mat as much as it is about noticing length from your collarbones, crown of your head, all the way through your tailbone. From there, lift your gaze, feel really grounded and pushing into the mat underneath your feet. Lift your gaze higher, here for three. Half moon pose in two. And one, half moon, take your time to arrive. You've got a long time to find these more challenging postures. Use your block underneath your left palm as it's helpful. Lengthen every limb. You'll actually have a second half moon in just a little bit. So let this one feel foundational. And then you can add on if you'd like from there. Flex your right toes. Lift your right hip a little higher. Yes, Kelly, you're here for three. Reverse triangle in two. And one, plant your right foot. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your left leg. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Again, like that, connect to your inhale. Power your exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step all the way through down to a seat. Whew, nicely done. All right, grab a little water. We are going to do a little core interlude. Uh, nothing too rigorous, just a couple things. Uh, and then we will move into our second half. Just a little bit deeper twisting. Again, nothing too crazy. Um, just getting our, our bodies the opportunity to feel even more open, more powerful, more energetic. So come down to your back. We will start with either basic crunches or recline bound ankle crunches. You can plant your feet or bring the soles of your feet together to touch. You choose. Interlace your hands behind your head. Press your low back down and take a big breath in. Exhale, lift your shoulder blades up away from the mat. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift you up. Inhale to lower you down. Exhale to lift you up. That exhale breath is what powers the movement, right? So connect your exhale to when you're exerting energy. And in these uh, belly up cores, it's always when you're lifting yourself up away from the mat. As you press your low back down, that's what helps you engage your abdominals and use the strength of your, your uh, core rather than the strain in your shoulders to help you lift up away from the mat. You're here for four, three, just a pulse in two, and one tiny pulse, one inch up, one inch down, one inch up, one inch down, just four, three, bicycle twist in two, and one bicycle twist, twist it right and left, right, left. Stack your knees over your hips and then move from there. You could choose to straighten your legs. You could choose to plant your feet. 
Let the motion again really happen in your oblique muscles. Those are those muscles right along your rib cage, the muscles that help us twist uh, more powerfully, more safely, more deeply. So let your elbow travel closer to your knee than your knee traveling towards your elbow. You're here for four, three, pulse it right in two, and one to the right for four, three, pulse it left in two, and one to the left for four, three, hold it right in two, and one static hold for four, three, hold it left in two, and one final hold just four, three, long body stretch in two, and one long body stretch, arms long, legs long, humongous breath in, humongous or breath out. Gather your knees into your chest. Start to rock and roll along your spine. Meet me in a boat pose. Boat pose, the most Minnesotan of poses. I know I say that every time, but it just, anytime I say the word boat, sounds like Minnesota to me. So toes can stay down, grab behind your knees to start. Rush, shrug your shoulders down your back, push your belly to your thighs. From here, lift your feet up parallel to the floor. Bring your thumbs to heart center, a little bicycle boat. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist your left elbow to your right knee and extend your left leg long. Inhale back through center. Exhale, twist your right elbow to your left knee and extend your right leg long. Back to center, twist, back to center, twist. Exhales as you twist, exhales as you twist. Keep your spine nice and long, Feel, frame up your low back, push your belly to your spine, focus on the twist for four, Three, hold it right in two, and one, just a hold for four. Three, hold it left in two, and one, this is it for four. Three, back to boat in two, and one, final hold for four. Three, high to low in two, and one, cross your ankles, plant your palms, move through high to low plank. I highly suggest holding your upward facing dog, getting a nice stretch along your abs, gaze over one shoulder, gaze over the other shoulder, and then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Really, really nicely done. I said just a little bit of core and that was like six minutes of core. So I apologize. That was just flat out um, dishonest. <laughs> As you come back to your downward facing dog, find your connection to your Ujjayi Pranayama once again. That powerful inhale and exhale through your nose. Your energy is at an apex right now. Enjoy it, feel it, savor it. It is what we practice for. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Before we move on, ensure your block is at the top of your mat. And then once your block is top of mat, inhale, chair pose, sit low, reach high. Exhale, thumbs to heart center this time, bend your knees even more. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, prayer twist, right side. Bring your left elbow over your right leg. Could also come between your knees or to the outside of your leg. All are great options. Get a basic prayer twist set up first. Keep your weight in your heels, parallel your knees towards the front of the mat and sink, sink your hips lower than your shoulders. Super nice long line between the two. From there, if you'd like, fly your, or, not, or open your arms to fly. So left palm down, right arm up. Once again, rooting down to rise up. Foundations allow you to open into these more challenging postures. All right, my friends, from here, we're moving towards half moon. So first things first, bring your left palm on or right palm onto your block, then kick your left foot up away from the mat and open in the opposite direction. So torso opens to the left, extend your left arm high, uh, lift your left leg higher with flexed toes. This half moon, if you want to go add a little flare, you can a little, little quad stretch, kick your left heel in and grab the inside arch of your foot. 
You could go for a half bind here with your palm, play with your gaze, whatever you darn well please. Beautiful choices. All of you look fantastic. You're here for three. Big rise up to star pose in two. And one big rise up to star, toes out, heels in. Get as big and open as you can and take a huge breath in. Exhale, skandasana or side lunge to the back. Thumbs to heart center, bend your left knee for side lunge. Push your chest forward and tailbone back. For skandasana, tense your fingers down at the back of your mat. Drop your left hip to your left heel. You could use your block here too to get a little steadiness. Maybe both thumbs come to heart center for a little balancing challenge. Flex your right foot and point your right toes up to get a little external rotation in your right hip. Super nice long spine. Stay with your breath. And everybody left hand down or side lunge, left hand to your thigh and then inhale at an easy twist, reach your right arm up. Exhale, low lunge, creep your fingertips to the top of your mat, point your toes forward. Inhale, crescent lunge, tuck your tailbone, lift your chest, reach your arms up high, breathe, my friends. First time in good old-fashioned crescent lunge, so feel it in your body, push into the ball of your left foot, press to the heel of your right foot, tuck your tailbone underneath. Big breath in, exhale, thumbs to your chest. Inhale, lean forward, exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Twist your left elbow on top of your right leg, as always, back knee down is an awesome option here for Revolve Crescent Moon. This is your last twist, last deep twist on the right side. So good opportunity here to feel the opportunity for depth. Remember, inhales help your spine get longer. Exhales help the exertion go deeper. So in this case, the exertion is the twist. So every exhale breath, can you twist yourself open just a tiny bit more? You're here for three. Come on down to runner's lunge in two. And one, come on down to runner's lunge. Push your palms to the inside of your right foot. Toe heel your right foot up and out a little bit more. Down to your back knee. And then runner's lunge variations, they're all welcome. So you could do like a bending and straightening of your front leg for a little wide half splits kind of situation. If you want a little bit more hamstring action, uh, if you'd like a quad stretch, kick your left heel in, reach back with your right hand for your left foot. You could put your block underneath your forearms, your block underneath your back knee, all sorts of options here. So you author a little bit of your own path. And remember, we're still rooting down to rise up. So a lot more gets close to the mat, which allows for a lot more support in your physical body. And just stay connected to your breath. Remember, this is all a journey towards enlightenment. This is all a journey towards bliss. This is all a journey towards freedom. How do those three ideals uh, connect more meaningfully for you over the course of your yoga journey? And what are ways that you see that connection building as you continue to grow? Back to your runner's lunge, press your palms to the mat, curl your back toes under, take a breath in, look forward. Exhale, yogi squat, toes out, heels in at the top of your mat. I recommend grabbing your block and bringing your seat onto your block for a little bit more grounded, uh, sustainable posture because we're gonna breathe here for a couple breaths. Super long spine, rather than hunching your chest forward, lift and reach to the crown of your head, still rooting down to rise up. So now you're rooted under your sit bones, lift through the crown of your head, press your chest to your thumbs. And if you feel pretty stable, maybe you close your eyes. Just a couple breaths here to check in with yourself about how your practice is feeling today. What's emerging for you? What's creating curiosity? Where do you feel open? Where do you notice anything? Something that captures your attention. Everybody take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Tense your fingers, gently lift your hips, 
toe heel your feet hip width distance, a forward fold of your choice, just for a couple of breaths, a little opposite motion in your body, especially your lower body from that uh, yogi squat we just did. And then toe heel your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, lift your chest. Exhale, thumbs to heart center, bend your knees a lot. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, prayer twist, left side. Start foundational, bring your left or your right elbow on top of your left thigh or to the inside or outside of it. Take a quick peek at your knees first, ensure they're in line with each other. Then work on opening your upper torso to the left. Feel that length in your spine, hips lower than shoulders. And from there, maybe you add a little bit of open arm flying action or something that feels powerful to you in this moment, something that feels you open in this twist, as challenging as it might be. Prayer twist to me is one of the most challenging things. I don't quite understand why, it just is. And then from there, we set up half moon. So left palm to your block first, then kick your right foot up and begin to open your torso in the opposite direction. Reach your right arm high, kick your right foot higher, keep a flex in your right toes. Also keep that length and space through your rib cage so your torso stays nice and long. Everything is long, everything is open. From there, maybe you add a little quad stretch in your lifted leg, half bind, whatever you darn well please. No wrong choices, lean into the challenge, and it's okay if we wobble. You're here for three. Big rise up, star pose in two. And one gorgeous Meg, toes out, heels in. Get as open and powerful as you can and take a huge breath in. Exhale, side lunge or skandasana to the back of your mat. Bend your right knee. For skandasana, come all the way down towards your heel. This side, I have not as much balance, so I keep one set of fingertips down, thumb to heart center. You could also use your block underneath your palms, or if you're near a wall, this is when I use the wall to try to gain a little more balance, see if I can get both thumbs to stay without toppling over. Either way, doesn't matter. Keep your chest lifted, spine super long, reach to the crown of your head. Again, not much is rooting you right now. You've got your heel down, the ball of one foot down. So that is still the foundation that allows you to move into this challenge. And we'll add the easy twist, right fingertips down, left arm high, take a big breath in. Exhale, low lunge, walk your palms to the top of your mat. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up one more time and then pause and breathe. Feel your shoulders stack right above your hips. Pivot your left hip crease a little back and continue to charge your right thigh up. Big breath in. Exhale, bring your thumbs to your chest. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Right arm to left leg or revolve crescent moon with the back knee down. Your final deep twist of the day. Maybe you add on in this posture as well. You could do the same open arm half bind piece that we uh, talked about in half moon and prayer twist. All of your body moving in ways that feel authentic to you and where you adapt, where you modify, that is part of the awareness. That is part of the consciousness building that this practice creates. You're here for three. Runner's lunge in two. And one runner's lunge, fingertips to the mat. Toe heel, your left toes up and out just a little bit more. Similar runner's lunge variation to the first side, but absolutely can adapt and modify as you may need for this side. I've been doing more running than I've ever done in my life just because I've been going to Orange Theory, which includes a lot of treadmill things. And so I've noticed that for whatever reason, my right hip flexor um, gets much tighter than my left. So a quad stretch on this side is great for that because that is stretching the front of your right hip and the front of your right quad. Lovely, my friends. Come back to your palms, curl your right toes under. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, yogi squat. Toes out, heels in at the front of your mat. I recommend grabbing your block. 
to put underneath your seat. Thumbs to heart center, press your elbows to your inner legs. Spine stays as long as you can get it and close your eyes. Another little check-in. We do a lot of vigorous movement in yoga, but uh, I kind of believe that the vigorous movement is really just preparing you for these moments where you can stop and pause and notice what's going on. So if the stillness challenges you, consider the stillness as a, a space to connect to the movement. Everybody breathe in and breathe out. Gently blink your eyes open, fingertips to the mat, gently, gently lift your hips, bring your feet hip width distance, one more forward fold of your choice. You could stand on your hands, you could grab your toes, you could do a rag doll, let your palms just hang heavy, but a good chance to get your head below your heart, lift your hips up, feel some length through the back of your legs. Amazing choices, my friends, you're doing so, so good. If you've got a grip in your palms, release your fingertips, toe heel your feet together to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. One more time in your practice today. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Everybody take a huge breath in and a huge breath out. Inhale, kick your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Bring your knee to your wrist, flex your right toes. Do the opposite motion to your left leg, straighten your left leg and point your left toes. And you decide what you wanna do from here. You can keep that lifted chest kind of opening in your heart, the front line of your body. If you're ready to relax down, walk your palms forward, let your forehead rest. You could also roll to your back for a supine figure four or any other hip opening posture you'd like to do here. Lots of time for these final poses today. So uh, we'll spend a little bit of time here and each one I'm gonna give you quite a bit of silence uh, to allow you to continue to uh, explore that inner uh, higher journey for yourself. If this feels good, you're welcome to stay here a little bit longer, as long as you'd like. When you're ready to journey to the left side, rewind the way you came in, maybe add on anything you'd like, um, some counter stretches between sides, eventually finding your way back in downward facing dog. And then in downward facing dog, set up the left side, kick your left leg high, breathe in. Exhale, left knee to left wrist. Keep that flex in your left toes. And remember, right leg does the opposite thing. Straighten and point through your right leg and your right toes. Find any kind of little uh, wiggles or nuances you make from right to left. And that could include moving to your back or to a different version of this posture. And then lots of time here in silence as well to just be and breathe with yourself.
from this left side, begin your journey back through a final downward facing dog. If you're on your back, we'll meet you at a seat. So you come back through that final down dog, find some good pedals, some good wiggles for your body that feel nice. And then inhale, look beyond your hands. Exhale, step all the way through down to a seat. Extend your legs out long in front of you. Let's do seated forward fold before we lie down. That low back is super straight and strong. My low back is tight, which means I'm bending my knees a little bit more than I normally do. So give yourself permission to do things like that as you need. Inhale, reach your palms up high. Exhale, fold over your legs. Bring your hands to the soles of your feet. From there, maybe you get a little bit more length in your legs or shimmy your tailbone back a little bit more. Then inhale, re-add some length in your spine. Exhale, fold down over your thighs. Again, inhale, feel the length. Exhale, fold back down. And inhale, rise back up. Exhale, come all the way down to your back. Bring your block with you on the way down. And just as we started our practice, your choice, legs up the wall or supported bridge. Use your block for both legs up the wall. Keep your block at its lowest height underneath your low back. For supported bridge, you decide the height and then let it be supporting your low back as well. Palms can go down next to you. Palms could come to your hip creases. Whatever feels natural, close your eyes. Gift yourself several breaths here. It was when we first started doing yoga on Zoom, right after the, the lockdown for COVID began, that I kind of thought in my head, I was trying to figure out like, what do we, what do I do in these spaces? Like, how do I, how is this um, something we can make meaningful? And it just seemed like a good idea at the time. Like, well, let's just start at the beginning of this eight limb path. We've got the time, <laughs> we've got the space um, and just work our way through it. And so about two, two years and four months later, here we are at the end of a very methodic, slow, just scratching the surface of what these concepts can be. You're welcome to stay here. In fact, you could end here if this seems like a nice place to be. Otherwise, gently slide your block out from underneath you. Hug your knees into your chest. Happy baby. Grab for the arches of your feet and flex them up towards the ceiling or the sky above you. Find some good motion here along your spine, a little kick in your legs, a little wiggle in your hips. Keep the back of your head down, your full spine down as much as you can. And then hug your knees into your chest. Supine twists, just like we did at the beginning. Left leg long, hug your right knee in. Use your left palm to guide your right knee across your body. Reach your right arm open next to you. And again, it isn't that the twist necessarily has to be bigger or different in some grandiose way. It is just merely a checkpoint to notice. Maybe there's similarities that are more important than the differences. Or maybe it's the differences that stick out a little bit more. It's just an opportunity to notice what's happening in your body today. And then slowly come back to center. Give your knee a squeeze before you switch out your legs. Right leg long, hug your left knee in and use your uh, right hand to guide your left knee over as you extend your left arm open. Final twist to the left. I will also note as a disclaimer that I will never pretend to be an expert on any of these ideas we talk about. Um, there's a couple of reasons that this is important to me. One, I find the benefit in my personal life and my own curiosity uh, and growth and sharing that as a community. And two, I think that it's important to consider the cultural appropriation aspect of yoga in a Western space and how we can actively work to avoid cultural appropriation and instead move towards a cultural appreciation and immersion. Slowly come back to center. 
Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, bring your forehead to your knees, gift yourself a big, huge, lovable hug. Take a big breath in, get as small as you can. Open mouth, exhale, corpse pose, Shavasana. Extend your legs long, your arms beside you, palms face up. Let your feet flop open, your fingertips curl. Really let yourself just settle in here. So little wiggles, add in a couple props, supports, throw a cat on your chest, whatever it helps for you to really settle in. Plenty of time here for surrender, my friends. So I'm going to give you two full minutes in stillness and silence to be and breathe. Enjoy. I'll guide you out. Whatever the reason may be that we all choose to continue our yoga practice, I think it's important to notice that we do exactly that. We, we, we choose to continue it. So there is something here um, that is magical, uh, healthy, that has provided, um, I'm guessing, deep benefit and has been a source of uh, really important support and growth for each of us. And I'm so glad that we get to experience that together, uh, whatever our reasons may be. So as you are ready to move on with your day, invite in gentle movement, tiny, tiny little wiggles of your fingers and your toes to start. You can start to open and close your jaw, wag your feet, roll your wrists, and then eventually a long body stretch. Reach your arms behind you, point your toes in front of you. Enjoy a nice big breath in when you get there. And even bigger breath out. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Roll to that fetal posture on either side and take a couple extra moments today in that fetal posture to recognize this moment of rebirth, of renewal a uh, space that we continuously come back to over and over again. The opportunity to shed the things that don't serve us and to be reborn with the things that do. With your eyes closed, come to a comfortable seat. Face the front of your space, sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the crown of your head. And again, root down to rise up. So feel the roots underneath you as you reach through the crown of your head. Press your thumbs to heart center, spread your fingers wide. Anjali Mudra, a gesture of offering, and think of all of the offering that we have contributed, not only to our own practice, but to the benefit of this community. So many powerful spaces happening literally across the country. Take your thumbs to your third eye, the space between your eyebrows, where we honor that connection to being able to see things and gain insight, enlightenment to pieces that without yoga, we would otherwise never gain. So grateful you're here. So grateful for this practice. Bowing forward, we seal it, saying peace. <laughs>